What's good, YouTube? Wanted to do a breakdown on Cobalt and his defense primarily for uh, how he bagged one of the best offensive players in Madden 23, and that is Big Gucci. Big Gucci's been one of the best offensive players since Madden 21, and it's no different this year. Now, I believe that Gucci is in the Colts Bunch playbook. This is kind of the meta. And I also want to talk about how Cole did a great job of countering the number one offense in Madden 23. So, uh, Cobalt's is, if you don't know, kind of an off-meta player, offensively at least. Defensively, he's going to be in dollar, but he's doing a lot of different things probably than most people are doing. And really, his strength is his defense. Now, we've got a dollar ebook That'll be in the Patreon if you guys want to take your game to the next level. Make sure you're a Patreon member. Ten bucks gets you deep dives in all ebooks and updates, everything, over 25 offensive and defensive ebooks. Links in the description if you want to check that out. But what I want to get at is... By far, this dude's strength is his defense, okay? I actually feel like if he could – I actually honestly think that if he would run the meta on offense, he'd be probably the best player in the game. His defense is really what does it for him. Uh, his offense is average at best. I actually think below average um, just because of – just from what I've been seeing, I think he's got probably one of the worst offenses in the, in the, uh, in the tournament. But – his defense is so, so, so good. And the reason I just say that is just because uh, about his offense is just because it's kind of like, it's like he runs bunch mainly, but not bunch. And I think he just, you know, I think he's kind of like searching still on offense. Just my opinion. Um, obviously, I'm not in the tournament, but you can take it or leave it. So anyways, here's what I want to get into. Um, this is his defense. So if you take a look here, this is dollar. What he's doing, um, DB Fire 2 is the base the base foundation play, but he's going to make a lot of adjustments to it, okay? Now, he's going to press, he's going to baseline and press every single time. So in his coaching adjustments, he's got his auto alignment set to base. He's going to come out, he's going to press. Now, you notice here he's going to shift his line. This is so that he can stop and shoot the run, shoot the inside zone out a bunch. We'll come back to that a little bit later. But what I want to really get into is this coverage adjustments. I actually think that's what's best about it. So right here. So we're starting out. This is just basic DB Fire 2. Now, um, Gucci is basically starting out with kind of a standard start out play. He's going to take this tight end. And his tight end is going to drag across or slant across. This is the play. I want to say PA Reed out of bunch. So this guy's on a drag. This guy's going to clear out any zones. This guy is on about a 20-yard crosser across the formation. And then he did a motion out slant. This spaces the field really well. And in kind of a roundabout way, it's my Y cross concept, essentially, um, because we're trying to attack this little flat area here, deep vertical, and then we have a crosser and kind of a backside dig or backside slant. So what we see here is he's going to start out with basically a third on the bunch side, inside third here, deep half here is what it looks like. And then this guy... Let's kind of play it through here. You're going to notice this is kind of interesting. So if you come back here and watch, watch this guy right here. This guy is basically in a bluff blitz. It looks like I'm not sure what that even is, honestly. That looked like a spy. I don't even know what that is. He might be in cover through cloud. Now that I think about it, I think he is actually in cover through cloud. He's in cover through cloud, yeah. Yeah, he's in cover through cloud because this guy's in a three rec hook. So this guy's in a three rec hook. So... What a three rec hook is going to do is a three rec hook is going to basically take the first shallow cross from the three receiver side across the formation. So that also tells me that his zone coverage is set to match. So we have third, third, third. This guy is kind of an interesting one. Watch what he does. This guy is, is three wrecking across. This is also why Cole's blitz doesn't come in completely clean because the blitz angles are different. Uh, when you audible to different plays in dollar, okay? So right here, I believe, I don't know what that is over there. He might actually be in cover six. I don't know. But what he does a great job of here is he knows the play. So at this point right here, as soon as he sees that, he knows this guy's coming across, okay? Now, the crosser's wide open, but I think Gucci is trying to throw this over here. This is an incredible lurk. Honestly, I feel like it's a it's it's a bang bang play. It's like a you know it, it could have been a pick uh, and it could have been a completion and it could have been nothing. 
um, right here. I mean, this he just gets it. And this is pick artist also. You'll see, I believe, well, I guess he doesn't have pick artist. So what do I know? But this is really good. Really, really good. Really, really good user. If Gucci steps up in the pocket, I think Gucci probably was like, well, I got to get the ball out quick because he's sitting five. So right here, right here, he's like, okay, I got to get the ball out quick. I'm going to get a quick disengage, quick shed. So I think he's thinking, okay, I got to throw to this space here. Just a great user. He does have, if you wait right here, if he waits, if he steps up and waits, this crosser is going to be open right over in this area right here. So this could have been honestly a lot of different things. I, I'm not quite sure. It could have even been match. Um, but we'll keep we'll keep clicking through this and show you some other plays because it really his defense was incredible. I mean his defense was incredible. Cole Bolts does a great job. I'm gonna give you a principle. This is a defensive principle right here. Make everything look the same. Make everything look the same. Make your max coverage look the same as your blitz. Make your man coverage look the same as your match coverage. Make your zone coverage look the same as all three. Very important. Okay. Uh, here they did a terrible job of missing a play. Let's get into like this is ridiculous. I don't know why we're why are we looking at the center? Like let's get we're missing gameplay. Okay, right here I can't quite tell for sure what this is. Another thing he might honestly be doing is just manning this guy up on the tight end. Um, so this could potentially be just match. This is a quarter. This is a half. This is a, probably a inside third, outside third. So it's that, and I've, I've talked about that match concept before against Bunch, where you, in a co if you're, I believe the play is cover six press or cover six show four out of dollar. Basically, the way you would do it is you would have this guy in a third, this guy in a third, this guy in a half, this guy in the quarter, and then take this guy and you can man him up on the tight end. It plays flood concepts pretty well. And you're seeing that he's blitzing out of it, which is interesting. It's so like right there, this is blitz. Um, this is an incredible defense. I mean, it's incredible defense. Now, Gucci doesn't attack the flats very much, which is kind of interesting. But we'll keep clicking through here. We'll actually see. It'd be great if we could actually see some, see some full breakdowns of plays here. So you see here, same thing every time. So another really small thing that Cole does that I think a lot of people should do is bring your safeties. You see how he's going to bring them down. Look where he leaves them. He leaves them at about eight yards. Sometimes you, there is such a thing as bringing your safeties too far down. He's going to bring them down right at about eight to nine yards, eight to ten yards every single time. See there, eight to ten yards. That is the sweet spot for a lot of different things. Um, that's going to help them. They're going to be able to play crossers really well. They're going to be able to play seam streaks really well. They're going to be able to play stuff over the middle that they probably wouldn't normally play. Um, in Madden 23, the way the zones work, honestly, I think the more that I think about it, um, because of the quote unquote drift logic, this quarter zone, even though it's an outside quarter, let's say he can appear to be like a flat that's going to 10 yard depth. So press baseline pressing is really valuable, especially if you bring these guys down. So it just helps your helps a lot. So now here's he's actually going to show us we're actually going to see his adjustments here and i want to go over them so right here okay so this is so you see here's what i was saying like this guy is now in a soft spot this was also another thing he was doing a lot so when gucci motion i think this might be honestly the base shell now that i think about it this could have been the base the base shell that he was rocking um this guy just being on a third and this guy being on an inside third so anyway, this is DB Fire 2. The soft squat, what I wanted to say is um, soft squat has match principles. So when he was motioning that slant out, if this guy runs, if he motions this guy out, so like let's say he motions him out and he runs him on a slant, the soft squat will match that because there's no other flat route coming into his area. So soft squat does have match principles, which he is utilizing. Hard flat over here, he's probably going to adjust that, I would think, but we'll see. Um, but anyway, so these are the adjustments. Half, soft squat, man up the tight end. I'm surprised we didn't get more verticals with this guy if he's going to do those adjustments. We'll see here. Now, no, 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 you see the quarter. Okay. So why does he put a quarter over here? A couple different reasons. Um, one of them is if he gets a corner route, 
from either of these two guys, if you look at where the hash marks is, because the ball is to the left side of the field, that means that this is the most amount of grass over here. The wide side would be to the right. You you have a really um, – the quarter zone will guard any kind of corner route to the outside unless he motions out here. Manning up the tight end is primarily to take away the vertical seam wheel, which Gucci has proven to want to throw. Okay, That's the main thing that's going to do. This man up over here, I'm honestly not sure. I assuming this is to try to take away C, uh, C routes, but I'm not quite sure on why. This this to me should be a third, especially in this situation. Uh, so we'll see what he does here. Let's see if he actually adjusts it. Let's see. No, no, no. Now watch. He motions out. Watch. Watch this quarter. So he motions. It's that same play where he runs a streak. Oh, that's why he's doing that. So he's running that that same play. So what he's what Cole's anticipating here is this tight end is going to try to attack this area. So he's got this guy in hard flat. This guy's manned up here. Now, if you think about it, all Cole has to use her is this to this. Now, this quarter, this outside quarter also has matching principles when they motion out of bunch. So when he motions this guy out on a slant, this guy technically should be matching this guy across the field. So in theory, all Cole has to do is use her this, this slant. So you see here, if you watch it run, this quarter actually breaks down his match principle and doesn't do what he's supposed to do. That could be for two reasons. Number one, Gucci snapped it just a second before he set, which can dumb out some of these match principles. Number two, Cole doesn't have his zone cover set to match. Most likely, it's just because of when Gucci snapped the ball. But you see here, he's doing the same thing he did at first. And Gucci's not going to make the same mistake twice. He's going to the slant. And actually, he still makes a mistake. I don't know why he threw this. This is wide open. I mean, I, I obviously Monday morning quarterback and the game is moving slower for me. I can slow it down, but interesting, interesting decision to throw that. So made four yards when he could have picked up a first down. Third and fifteen. Here we go. Uh, let's see what else we got. See what? There you go again. Move the safety down. He doesn't always move this left side safety down, but he does pretty much always move the one at least one of them down. So this is a five-man pressure. Okay, we're going to send five. We'll see what we have here. It appears like he took this safety and cross manned him on the tight end. Actually, no, I think this is actually, oh, no. It looks like a match to me, honestly. It's interesting. I don't know exactly how to, sometimes these adjustments are hard to read. So I think we've got a third here for the C route. This guy is in an inside quarter. I think this guy's in half. This guy's in a quarter, I would assume. And then this guy's made up on the tight end. So, again, this is match. He's going to try to throw that crosser, but we've got that either cross-manned or matched onto. And then – and really what I think is interesting here as we look at the film so far is really the, the – when people see dollar, you're getting a lot of verticals. And this is a really good verticals defense because this cross crossers are not as good as they used to be. And this route is just bagged. I mean, that is not open at all. You can't really throw that now. And then, I mean, there's just nowhere to go with the ball. So he's going to eat a sack or throw it away. And you see Cole's getting in a rhythm. Now, another thing you're noticing here is one of the secrets to good defense, I think, while he punts this, one of the secrets to great defense – uh, is anticipation. How are you anticipating? What are they going to do in key situations, right? Most people, most most really good players, they have tendencies, and those tendencies, honestly, are typically, like, really small. Like, it's, it's a couple key plays that they like in key situations. So what Cole did is he assumed or anticipated he was going to run verticals, and then he jumps into incredible, incredible verticals defense. Now, I'm going to skip through most of Cole's offensive stuff, mainly because I I don't really like his offense. Um, but that's just – he made some great throws. But I felt like he – I feel like, honestly, he just, just run bunch – I mean, just run bunch is what he's kind of doing. Now, this is where we get into this chess match. So, Gucci's kind of searching offensively. Honestly, like, if you take away these runs here – so, he starts running the ball. And Cole, I think, is trying to adjust his defense – and he just catches him in this in this right here. Now what let's see what Cole does here. First and ten. Let's see if he shifts. Doesn't shift. Move the safeties down. 
kind of misses a tackle. That should have been a tackle. And, I mean, really, he got a free seven, honestly. Um, this happened, I think, twice in this game where he got free touchdowns when, really, Cole's defense, seriously, I think it only gave up one touchdown all game long. So, so like, right here, he shifts. Notice this, is interesting. So the first snap of the uh, the the first snap of the game, he shifted them away from the running back. Now he shifted them toward the running back. Now Gucci's going to go back to that same play, that drag, that crosser, and that motion out slant, and then the clear out with blocking the back. So let's watch Cole's defense here. See here, there it is, right there. See that's the exact route combo. Now we're sitting five again, and see this is the anticipation piece. Cole is understanding that this is a, a significant tendency of Gucci to run this play on first down. So this hard flat adjustment is really to take away this tight end route. This cross man on this takes away the clear out. Now it becomes a chess match of who am I going to use her. And really this guy should have matching principles on the slant. And it's just a matter of whether or not he matches it. So right here he doesn't match it. And so... You're starting to also see Gucci settle in a little bit and recognize how we can attack this. So, Crosser, again, he wants to take this tight end. I'm just interested in that. I'm kind of surprised that he's throwing that. That's that's good coverage. It's not great coverage. That's good coverage. Second and five. Um, now, notice that Gucci's saying, okay, if he doesn't shift his line, I'm going to run. That's basically what Gucci's saying to himself here. That's exactly what he does and breaks another run. And, I mean, he, another free seven. So that's 14 points that, you know, really were free. Um, so a couple different reasons for that. Honestly, I just think it was go Cole wasn't anticipating a run, and he wasn't ready for the run. I think it's just a, a one of those things. Sometimes, you know, the way the game plays this year, like if you catch someone off guard, and especially off, in this game, it's hard to stop the run at a dollar if they're not ready for the run at a dollar. So you'll see that now, because of what has just taken place, you're going to see Cole is going to really start to uh, kind of take the run game away in a lot of ways here. So. so here we go. Same exact first play. So this is every – this is interesting. Every first play of the drive, he's ran the same play. Every first play of the drive is ran the same play. Now, you should see – I bet you Cole runs the same defense too. Now he's, But he, the only difference is he's pinching. So here's the sin five. Let's look at it. Now he goes back to that defense he originally ran the first play, which if I was betting, we're going to have me, or, uh, zone, zone, zone. This guy's in a flat, I think a soft squat, and then this guy's manned up on the tight end. So now this guy should match, but he doesn't. He still drifts. Um, you know, I'm not sure why that's the case, to be honest. Maybe he has his zone drop set. I don't know. Um, but you get third, third, half, and then this guy's in whatever he's in. Maybe a cloud. Maybe, I mean, it could be a, little, a couple of other things. Notice here, this tight ends. I mean, there's a lot of things open here. For my uh, Air Raid fans, triangle concept. Okay? So really good. I think that play is really underrated. I think, honestly, that play is really good for what, what Gucci's running versus – uh, really, it's worked every single time. Gucci just made the wrong read one time. So kind of interesting. Um, all right, so first and 10, same play. See if Gucci runs the ball here, but no, he's probably run that same exact play. Same exact play here. Now he tweaks it. So the tweak is now instead of running the drag crosser backside dip, slant, now we're going to run what I call shallow cross or slant post. So we've got a crosser going in that area. We've got a slant coming across, tied into the flat. Honestly, I think this is a bad play call by Gucci, but I think he's just trying to mix it up a little bit. I'm not sure why he calls this, to be honest. I don't know. This guy right here, to me, this is easier for the user to guard. It's easier for the user to like lurk this and then back to this and so anyway so let's see what he does here i think it's that same coverage third i don't know what we got this guy in um hmm. 
So now we manned up the slot. So this is an, back to the anticipation piece. Nobody runs verticals with a motion over, like very rarely. When they motion this guy over, you get one of two things. You either get streak, C route, post, slant, or you get streak, slant, cross or post, out route. So Cole does a great job of adjusting to the, uh, the tendency here. And instead of manning up the tight end, he mans up the slot. So now what we have here is we have cloud or whatever this is, half, half, third. I'm not sure what these two guys are in, honestly. It looks like they're, it looks like this is a third and this is a half, but I could be wrong. I don't know why you would do that though. Yeah, but they might be cover four. He might've just audible to, I don't know. It's hard to tell. But anyway, the man up here, and then he's going to, all he has to use is this. Now, again, this guy's standing wide open saying, please throw me the ball. And that's another thing. Like, in Madden, it's way easier to master a couple simple plays and always make the right read than to try to run several plays and make the right read. Gucci's only running a couple plays, and even he's struggling to make the wide open read right here. So that's another piece of this. Throws that crosser, able to hit that. Really nice. So Gucci, let's see here, second quarter inside zone. He shifts his line. He's good. Okay. Watch the chest bunch with that. That's interesting. Now, the main reason Gucci's doing that is just to get the clock working, I'm pretty sure. Try to work the clock a little bit. Quick snap verticals. Uh, let's back this up here real quick. So... Get the scissor adjustment over here. We've got the man up here, the man up here. This is DB Fire 2. And I think, honestly, like, honestly, I just think Cole gets clicked off a little bit here because it's a quick snap. But we're sitting five. We have the scissor adjustment here. Now, this is a great adjustment right here. I don't know for a fact this is the adjustment. I, actually, I think it is just a vertical hook. It would have been really smart if this guy's in a mid-read, but he's not. I think he was trying to walk the safety down, and he just got clicked off. So now what we get here is a man up here. I'm not sure why he did that. I'm assuming maybe – I'm just not sure why he did that unless he was just anticipating that this could be a potential quick snap verts. I'm just not sure. He's got the tight end wide open here, but I, that is the user area in here. I mean, he just kind of gives it away. He did have stuff open, though. All right, it's the third and eight ball on the 47, minute 27. Cole's got to be thinking, like, if I if I can at least just – if I can just hold him to three here, honestly, it's probably a win. But here we go, moves these guys down. Another thing that is different about Gucci than a lot of people that run Colts is he's actually running a lot of bunch. Uh, if you watch Henry use this playbook, Henry goes from bunch to tight every time. Bunch to tight every time, Okay. Now we're going with this was a concept Henry used in the ultimate wild card. We have streak, corner, flat, trail route, drag route. Now, you'll also notice, notice that Cole did not audible, did not flip a play or anything. So this cannot possibly be match um, because, because uh, if, you, if this was match, the cover four side would probably be over in this area. So that's another thing. Technically, you could make it match, but wouldn't be ideal. So we're still adjusting out of DB Fire 2. So here has a wide open touchdown. Let's see here. Right. Let's freeze it right here. Okay. So basically what Cole does, I've talked a little bit about this. He's trying to take advantage of leverage, so we're going to leave these guys in the flats, I'm assuming, on both sides. And then what we're going to do here, yeah, yeah, we're going to leave the flats here. Now, what's cool about what he does is if you come back to this spot, he takes this safety. He takes this safety because he has outside leverage on this guy, and he mans him up on him. Then he takes him in the linebacker and mans him up on this guy. And what happens is they run into one another here. Over here is the traditional cover two or the vert hook. Um, I actually think he drops the he drop, I think he drops that slot. So he drops this slot here into like a, a, a hook. 
the reason he did that, he actually got a pick on Henry about that. So this is kind of a standard tight defense, I think. But basically the idea is this vertical hook will play any kind of bench route or anything to that right side. And then what we have over here is we're trying to use these, these kind of unique man-ups to stop corner routes. And it does stop the corner route. It also gives up a touchdown over the top. Uh, so, you know, but overall good adjustment. He checks down the flat. So good play by both players. Gets him to a fourth down here. Let's see what happens with this one. So we're sending five according to this. Guess what play Gucci's going to? His favorite play. I think this is his favorite play. And watch what happens here. We're able to pick up the blitz. So we have protection. Guess what Cole goes to? Hard flat. This guy right here is in a flat. This guy's manned up here. Now he does what we were showing you. He mans up this guy. This is a great adjustment. Like, really good adjustment. I think he even has this guy manned up, to be honest. He actually manned up everybody. So we have two flats. We have a hard flat here. I think we have two flats in general. We're sending five, and we man up there, and then man up the three bunch, the, the bunch slot the bunch wide receiver, and then we're using this tight end. So he takes the tight end right away really well. Now he's coming over here to help. The only place he can throw this ball is this crosser, and he's able to just complete it. Now if you also look at Cole's abilities, I'm not quite 100% sure what they were, but, you know, it is what it is. Goes to inside zone. Again, that primarily is to work this clock. He doesn't want to give Cole uh, the ball back with any time left. Same thing again, work the clock. And I'll show you something that is going to be actually really valuable for the second half in just a second. And you see here again, run the ball. Now Gucci calls timeout. I don't love that timeout call at 20. I would have liked to see that go down to like 16 seconds. Goes to Bunch Trail. And this is his play. So, essentially creates a bench concept with this out route. This out route is supposed to pull this. His idea that is that if he could get this guy isolated here, he can throw the ball in this little in this little circle right in this area. So you see here, he's able to do that. High points it so that you can basically dumb out the zone, and he's able to get the catch right in the middle area. So that is the first half. Let's get into the second half of these guys. I think Cole got the ball first, yeah. So now, this is where things get interesting. So this drive is really the biggest drive of the game. Um, because Gucci needs to score. Kind of one of the things on clock management. He kind of needs to score fast because he needs to score with time to get the ball back in case Cole scores. So he's also got to be thinking about that. I'm not – that's why I don't love that run call there. I feel like in this situation you have to score before four minutes in the fourth this year. You're probably going to get clocked. Guess what play he goes back to? Goes back to his favorite play here. Look at that. Look at that. Same adjustments. Look at this. Look at this. This is exactly the same defense. We have this guy manned up. This guy's in a flat. We cross man this guy. But now what Cole says is, I'm going to take all of this guy. So I'm going to carry this guy, and then I'm going to take all of this guy. So you'll see right here, he takes all of this crosser, and Gucci still throws it and almost completes it. So not um, – but also that's why Gucci overthrew that is he's trying to high point over the top of the user. So, again, just to illustrate here, hard flat, this guy's manned up on this guy. This guy is cross man on this guy, so he's inside leverage on the slant. This guy's in a flat, and then this guy was essentially we had third or, uh, man up here, and then this guy was in the middle of the field basically. So really nice coverage show for that play. So Gucci should be going back to that crosser with the tight end out route, slant post basically. Yeah, so like I said, there's one of two things people are going to do. You're either going to get slant post, which Gucci's already ran that, and Cole has shown pretty good ability to bag it, or you're going to get this right here. So what this does is because Cole is blitzing, um, according to the threat detector, because he's blitzing five, 
from a coverage possibility perspective, it's going to be really hard to defend these two routes. If you play man coverage, this guy should be open. If you play what Cole's been playing where he has this guy in a flat and this guy is manned up here, this streak should be open for a touchdown. So really interesting to see how Cole plays defense here. Obviously, he's going to have to tweak what he's doing. So what he does is he sends five, and he actually just goes with basic. Interesting. Basic DB fire two. Basic DB fire two. He has to, user-wise, he has to go take all of that, uh, that C route. Otherwise, it's going to be a dot over the top, and that's what I think Gucci does here. Yep. And honestly, like, he actually overthrows it. Or no, no, he gets it to him. But... Um, the other thing interesting about that is Cole had he or uh, Gucci hadn't run that all game. It was the first time he ran that play. So Cole is playing a lot adjustment wise. Cole is playing a lot off of a tendencies and tendencies and anticipation. There he moves the safeties down inside zone. He can almost guarantee that was what he was going to do. Breaks a run for twelve. I mean, how many yards? I mean, he's got one hundred and sixty-five yards. Two two touchdowns. Yeah. Yeah, going to go to it again. You know, and that's that's really the main way he's moved. And I don't know that that necessarily means that he couldn't move through the air. It just means that that's been the easiest way to move. Now right here, we're going to flood. Let's get into this real quick. So from an adjustments perspective, what we're getting here, what we're getting here is... That's that little flood concept. This time we're gonna bring this backside post, which I don't love that. I'm not sure why he was thinking that. But we've got flat, we've got corner, and then we have this drag, and then this post. The user has to choose, am I gonna guard the post? Or am I gonna guard the drag? Again, triangular concept. You know, triangular concept. So if you look here, flat, half, third, what well, looks like a third, but I think it's probably a half. So we have standard DB fire two, and we just man up the running back basically. Actually, no, 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 no. That's what he did. So, so this is this is a roll cover, what I call a roll cover. So we're gonna third this guy, third this guy, half this guy, flat this guy, sending five, and we're gonna take one of these linebackers and man him up on the running back. So that takes away the flat. Okay, um, but again, this guy is not guarding anybody. This guy looks like I said he might have been in a cloud, a cloud flat, but it, I think he was in a, a third. But I could be wrong. But I mean, you see, there's the middle of field. The other thing is the pace at which Gucci is snapping the ball also dictates how many things Cole can do pre-snap. Um, so that's another element of all this. This should take this to the fourth, but he is going to snap it. So Gucci, what he saw was he saw this guy was in a cloud flat. So essentially his idea, if, if that's Cole's defense for tight, that's going to be a great chance for me to hit this corner over here because I can run this there, run a corner left. And you see that's exactly what he does. And honestly, it should have, I mean, had a touchdown, but pressure got home. And there's another big element of this. Like when you send five every – Cole sent five, I think, every play. I think Cole has literally sent five every play. Um – so kind of interesting too. All right, so this is second and ten. This is a huge play. Um, going back to his favorite play here. Okay, we send five again. Now what we did was we ran man here. I'm not sure what this zone is for, but this looks like a hook. And. Yeah, we basically just ran man with a third on the left and then a hook. Oh, this hook curl, I think what he was thinking is this hook curl might match or help play this route and then give this time, guy time to catch up to it. He ends up trying to high point him. That that right there, I I want to say that had a, that might have honestly been match. I don't know. Um, okay, so this is four minutes, 57. You'll see here. Now what Cole anticipates is, okay, he just ran his favorite play. Now I think he's going to go back to that play he scored the touchdown on. And he's right. You see here, look at this concept. This is primarily for cover two. 
So what we're hoping is that this guy is going to hold this flat defender, this guy is going to hold this half, and then this going to leave this guy isolated in this area. So same thing. Watch Cole's user on this play. So he looks at it. He sees as soon as he sees this guy run straight and this guy run straight instead of a drag, it's automatic. Like, I already know that this is coming. This, this, this hook curl defender must have been actually to stop this now that I think about it. So this is probably a third. This is a hook curl defender to stop this backside slant. And now we're going to play that cover two. And then Cole himself is going to go guard this, which is really good. So you see here, that's exactly what happens. And he throws right at his user. And he's able to get the pick. That's huge. And from this point on, like, really the game didn't, I mean, the game changed. That really changed the game. That was a game ceiling, game winning pick because, I mean, technically he still had to go down and get seven here. But he does get seven. Now with two possession lead with four minutes, all Cole has to do is make Gucci have to work a little bit for his for his uh, points. But I do think what's really interesting about Cole is he literally sent five every single play. He sent five every single play. That's that back to that base defense I was telling you. Hard flat, man up here, right? He had his base coverage adjustments for a bunch, and honestly he kind of stuck to them uh, for the majority of the game. Situationally, he might tweak them here and there, but he really stuck to a couple key coverages. Um and here, he's got to be thinking, like, if I just make Gucci work. I just think it's really interesting how consistently he sends five. He literally sent five every play. That's what I was talking to you about a second ago, where Gucci goes back to this play because obviously he had a touchdown on it. This is what you'll see here. Five-man pressure. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to take this guy. We're going to man him up on, I think, CD. And then this guy is going to be in man on this guy. This guy is basically a flat defender trying to take away the running back. And then over here, I think we're just playing standard zone. Yep, cover two over here. And then if you look at this, I actually manned up the running back too. So essentially, this is his strategy against tight. This is his core adjustments. But this corner route is wide open. Yeah, I mean, really, it comes down to the two turnovers. And sometimes, in, and honestly, in defense, like, you're playing for a couple turnovers a game. I think that's also why you see Cole send five almost every single play. Um, I mean, literally every single play, he sends five. Let's see if he sends five again. I'm assuming he will. No, he actually only sends four. So occasionally he'll only send four. But either sends five or four pretty much every play. The reason is because probably the back went out here. Uh, but basically... Does a great that's a great man up right there. So it's kind of obvious when people run this, what they want to do is they want to throw this corner. So this guy could have been in a vert hook. He also I think he might have actually been in a vert hook. This vert hook will match if there's nothing underneath. So he he doesn't run anything underneath here. So this vert hook matches it. You got a third there, I believe. Third there, we man up this guy. Now all he has to use is in the middle of the field. Cole does a really good job, too, uh, defensively. Cole does a really good job of limiting his responsibility. You know, he knows his responsibility on every single play. Everything looks the same. Everything looks the same. Cole is consistently sending five. He makes adjustments behind it, and he knows where his user has to be. And he has a plan to stop the run. Those are some of the key things to building a great defense. You see here, there's that play again. That looked like some match. It's hard to tell if it's match or if it's cross, man, to be honest. I, I'm having a hard time kind of seeing. Yeah, that's the other thing here. It's a good point. I honestly think, like, he's fine with letting him run the ball. He just doesn't want him to score running the ball. But that's what he's pitching his line in the red zone. That is such good defense right there. And you see Gucci is literally running like a couple of concepts. He's going to go back to that corner route here. There's a drag. Now this play is kind of interesting. This is more of like Gucci getting kind of getting bad luck.
So he's pinching the line instantly. The reason he does, he also isn't bringing the safeties down in the red zone. It's because he's manning them up a lot. Right here, this is actually a really good play. So Gucci goes to bench pivot. So basically, I'm not sure what Cole. I'm not sure what he was expecting. But basically, the idea is instead of running the corner route with this guy, we're going to run the corner route with the tight end. That's basically the idea. So you'll see here, watch Cole's user. He's over in this area right here. This guy's manned up. This guy's manned up on the dig. Really nice. But Cole knows I've got to come back over here and help. He's thinking this guy's on a wheel and that hook curl that he has on the field will play him or whatever this guy's on. But he's on a corner, so Gucci's trying to throw it in this little pocket right here. Now, this could potentially have been a KO, but Gucci gets one of the worst things ever in Madden, which is he's going to throw this ball, and because he can put the ball exactly where he wants to, his receiver won't animate. As you can see here, this is an out of reach <laughs> and um, interception. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> um, honestly, Cole's defense by far the best that we've seen. Um, but I think it's primarily for a couple of key reasons. So some key takeaways. Um, key takeaways for you guys is make every defense look the same. Like make every defense look the same. Pick one or two base defenses and adjust out of them situationally. Okay, so you can run match defense, and that's your base defense, and you adjust out of it. You can run man defense, and that's your base defense, and you adjust out of it. You know, you're either going to be a man defense that turns into zone, or a zone defense that turns into man. And that's really the way this game works, uh, especially this year. You need to be calling defenses that you can make them look the same. You can blitz out of them. You can stop the run out of them. You can adjust out of them. And then also they themselves give you good alignment against several different formations, kind of a plethora of different formations you're going to face. This is what Cole was able to do and really why I think his defense really excelled at the highest level. So if you want to get my version of the dollar defense, it's in the Patreon. The link's down in the description. We show you how to have great run defense, how to have a base defense, how to adjust formation to formation situationally, all those things. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed kind of seeing uh, how Cole really built, I think, the best defense in the game and, um, and what you can take away from it.